gardeners. As you can see, if you watch the first video, the project that we just made is right there, Claude Monet's Field of um, Fingerprint Poppies. Uh, and I also have my art word that I brought from the art room to kind of make it feel artsy in here, but you can tell we're definitely not in the art room. We're at my house. So anyway, the second option, if that wasn't something that you kind of want to do, is another version of poppies. I'm going to show you real quick. And remember, you only need to pick one, okay? If you're feeling very ambitious or maybe it's rainy outside and you don't have something to do, you're more than welcome to do two, but I'll, I'll, I'll just grade your best one, okay? Um, we're going to do it. It's going to turn out something sort of like that, okay? Um, and then the artist that we're talking about with this version of Fingerprint Poppies has a painting like that, and his name is Vincent Van Gogh. And like Claude Monet, they're both impressionist artists, which means they paint more of the feeling of the area that they're working on, um, maybe if it's outside or even if it's inside with a vase of poppies. Uh, but they kind of paint more of the feeling or the impression that they're getting. So the brush strokes are loose and short, um, and painting just feels more fun and spontaneous. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Again, I picked a piece of blue construction paper. Okay, you might not have construction paper. here at the top okay and again remember this is part of the background so don't get too crazy with that because you want the star of your painting to be flowers all right and then you're gonna take your markers or your crowns or whatever you would like to, do to add your stems in your grass I've already added a few and most of the time when you add something or you have items in your picture you really want to keep it to um, an odd number. So I chose number five, and that's a good number, um, maybe three, five, seven, something like that. Because if you just have two little flowers next to each other, it ends up kind of being boring, or four, you know. So you, this way it kind of mixes up the interest a little bit. And I'm going to make a few stems, okay? So when I do that, I'm going to use the thicker side of the marker, like this. There'll be other times you'll want to maybe use the tip, like that, if you chose to use a marker. And my stem, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight either. See how it kind of bends a little? Um, and you might want to, you're going to want to make some longer, okay? Some shorter, some medium. I have all different heights for my poppies here that I chose. Um, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and add a little grass. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to press and lift up on my marker. And my some of my lines are going to be curved, okay? Some be a little bit straight, but see how I'm doing that? You just press and lift up with your wrist. You don't want it to look like a bunch of yarn where it's the same size, where your the stroke is the same size at the bottom as the top. So you want to try as best you can. Try to use your wrist. And they don't have to be um, perfectly straight either. They can be curved. They can kind of crisscross. See how some of them do that? If you have two colors of green, you can use that. You can use three colors of green. If you only have one, that's fine too. Uh, the next thing I did was I took black and I put the center of the poppy here at the top of my stems where I wanted those to be. And then I'm gonna use my finger. And if you remember the picture that I showed you of Georgia, it's not perfect like a daisy where each little petal is perfectly spaced apart. Um, so you can use the black part of your finger, but you could also maybe use part of the tip of your finger. Maybe you could wiggle one around a little bit. Maybe this petal's a little bigger. Whoops. Some of that paint. I'm going to try to smooth that out a little bit. Okay. So it's, it's going to be kind of a more natural shape. And also, I have a poppy here that's close to that one. That's okay if they touch, okay? That's okay if they touch. And it's okay if they go over a stem um, of one of the other stems or another piece of grass or something like that. That's okay. Um, because in a field of poppies, there might be a few that touch each other. So that's okay. That actually looks kind of nice. Looks natural that way, I think. 
And this is my last poppy up here. I'm running out of paint, but I think I'll have enough to finish it. So as you can see, it wasn't, I didn't perfectly place each one. I wanted them to look natural like a poppy would. Um, one other thing I noticed here, my stem isn't touching. So I could go back and maybe make that flower a little bigger, that petal, like that. Okay. Or if I liked the size of my flower, I could make this stem a little longer. So this is the up close poppies. So I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with and which one you chose. Um, I think those are fun and pretty easy to do. So, all right, have a good week. And don't forget, you'll want to turn this in by April 9th. That's Thursday before, before Good Friday. Okay, have a good week. Thank you.